A groove is a slot cut with the grain. The term plow is used to describe the same cut using multiple blades ganged together, commonly referred to as a dado set. A dado is a cut across the grain, usually designed to accept another wood member. With a dado set, widths up to 13 sixteenths of an inch can be cut in a single pass. Dado sets contain two full blades and several chipper blades, which typically have two or four teeth. Chipper blades are meant to be sandwiched between the full blades. If you look carefully at the grind of the teeth, you'll notice that the outer blades are ground opposite each other. The highest point of the tooth scores the wood fibers. The outer blades should be placed with the high point of the tooth on the outermost edge of the dado, left and right sides respectively. It is essential that these are installed correctly to get the best cut. Notice that every fifth tooth has a flat top grind. This cleans out the kerf so the dado has a flat bottom. The chipper blades included with a dado set are usually made of various thicknesses. This allows the user more options in setting up the width of their dado heads. A good dado set will also include a set of shims so that you can adjust the width of the cut to within thousandths of an inch. Notice that these blades are laid out on a board and not directly on the saws table. Most dado sets have carbide teeth. Carbide lasts longer than steel, but is very brittle. To avoid damaging the teeth, never set the blades on a metal surface or anywhere they can accidentally get knocked over. Shimming a dado to an exact width can be a time-consuming process. But with the aid of a caliper, you can dramatically speed up the process. Because every table saw arbor is going to have a certain amount of runout, the only way to accurately measure the width of a dado head is to measure an actual cut. Start with the best combination of chippers to achieve a width slightly less than the desired finished width. Install the inside blade, then add the chippers, and finally the outside blade. Tighten the assembly like you would a regular saw blade. Make sure the teeth on the chippers fall into the gullets of the full blades. When using a dado head, you must use a throat plate with a wide enough opening for the blade to clear. With the assembly complete, make a test cut and check the width using a caliper. Here the cut measures 620 thousandths of an inch. The plywood that we want the groove to accept measures 685 thousandths of an inch. Record these numbers on a piece of paper, subtract the difference, and add a few thousandths to make the joint a slip fit and allow space when gluing. Select the proper combination of shims and install them between the cutters. It's a good practice to spread these shims as evenly as possible between the chippers rather than put them all in the same spot. Spreading them out will reduce the chance of the cutters not overlapping, which would result in a sliver of wood not being removed. With the dado blade properly shimmed and reassembled, make a second trial cut and test the fit. Using a miter gauge with a backing board, we can make clean cutting dados. The backing board helps eliminate the tear out caused by the blade exiting the cut. In this presentation, we've covered a number of ways to make dado, groove, and plow cuts. Although a single flat top blade can be used, a good quality dado set is a valuable investment which will save time in the long run. Combined with a good quality caliper, you will get more accurate and quicker results than if you make adjustments by trial and error. As a note of caution, be careful when using a dado set. Make sure the blades are sharp, properly installed, 
and the operation is guarded to prevent the operator's hands from coming into contact with the blade.